Okay, so what I've added to this voltage controlled oscillator circuit uh, is some serial output so we can see the analog value and the frequency that is uh, being produced. And I've got a voltage divider set up so that I'm getting half of a 5 volt supply. So with a 100 ohm pot, um, I can adjust the voltage from 0 to um, 2.56 volt. And I like the pinging sound. Uh, this is going to be used in a gradiometer. And uh, there's a little vibrato in there too, which is uh, which is pretty nice. So if I can get this screwdriver on this adjustable pot, um, I've got it set to its highest highest frequency, which is about one kilohertz, and it should go down to 30 hertz if there's no voltage at all. So I'll start turning this down. It is very hard to get this screwdriver on this potentiometer. It's not so hard with two hands, but with one hand. Alright, I'll start turning it down and the frequency should follow. And this potentiometer has a lot of turns. Okay, if I can get this thing turning. Already hearing a drop. Now, if, uh, if there was a bigger voltage drop, you would hear it very defined change in tone. So looking at the serial monitor, monitor I'm right at uh, about 800 hertz. Oh, come on. I could have done this video in 30 seconds, except for this 600 hertz. And I blew the other speaker with the LM386, so I've got this connected to a five and a quarter inch uh, four ohm speaker. Now if this was in an enclosure, the sound would be a lot richer and deeper. about 650 and about one and a half volt frequency is now about 525 start going back up the other way increasing in voltage increasing in frequency but the trim is so fine on this pot uh, you don't hear a very quick change in tone but if this was integrated into the gradiometer um, and you hit a magnetic anomaly, the voltage would change drastically and there would be no doubt um, you would hear the change in tone very abruptly. So that seems to be working well.